Hello, I am Mohammed Rubaid bin Sattar. In this video, I am going to show you few steps to solve any kind of subnetting problem. First, we will look at the IP address and the mask. Now, mask can be represented as this form IP address and network prefix. This network prefix actually the mask. So, to solve any kind of subnetting problem we need just two information one the ip address and the subnet mask now the step one ip class from the ip address we can see it is class b because it is 172 means in the range of class b so we find out our ip class it is class b now class b means first two octet is the network address and third and fourth octet is the host address now network address is as it is our work will be on host address this one 8 bit 8 bit now for class b default mask is 255.255 .255 means 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 this 255 comes from 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 255 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if we sum up the 8 bit it will be 255 now which subject mask is given in the question is 255.255.255.255 sorry 1.28 now 255.128 this is the extra one okay now 255 means 8 bit and 120 120 means 1 bit so total is 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to 25 this 25 is the network prefix look at this it is also written as 25 this is IP address and network prefix this 25 means this one now and for class B default subnet mask is 8 plus 8 means 16 what is more it is 9 this 9 is the subnetwork so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is a subnetwork. Let's draw the subnetwork. This is our subnetwork. And rest are the host. Rest the host. So 9 bit is a subnetwork. And 7 bit is the host this is the structure we need from this structure we will solve any kind of subnetting problem so we got our structure subnet and host now first we will convert the ip address from decimal to binary then we will solve the questions okay first decimal to binary our 17220 as it is now 182 182 in 8 bit okay 128 plus 32 is equal to 160 plus 16 is equal to 176 plus 4 is equal to 180 plus 2 is equal to 182 so actually 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 182 and the rest of the bits are 0 0 0 so we replace with this bit 
this subnet this 8 bit okay. 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 okay now 215 we need uh, 128 plus 64 is equal to 192 then 16 is equal to 208 plus 4 is equal to 212 plus 2 is equal to 214 plus 1 215 is 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 215 and the rest of the beats are 0 0 so the 1 1 is 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 okay for converting from decimal to binary don't confuse this subnet and host structure it will be always dot to dot means 8 bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 82 will be fill up with this 8 bit and 250 will be fill up with this 8 bit dot to dot dot to dot okay so decimal to binary conversion done now we will answer these questions network address for network address this host portion will be all zero Okay, let's save it. This section will be all zero for network address. So, what is the result actually? It will be one seventy two dot twenty dot the subnet dot to dot means one eighty two dot and for this one it will be 128 to do it let's make it big so you can see okay this is our network address now for broadcast address this host will be all one all one so broadcast address will be 172.20 then it is unchanged this 8 bit this 8 bit means 182 and this dot to dot is 11111 all one means 255 255 this is your broadcast address now host range host range is from 129 to previous of this 255 is equal to 254 so first valid host is this one after network address 172.20.12 and last valid host is the previous one of the broadcast address which is 172.20.182.254 now is the second third host second third host. if this is the first host then the second one will be 172.20.182.254 Third host will be one seventy two dot twenty dot one twenty one eighty two dot one thirty one. This way. Now, which subnet? We have to calculate the subnet. 
now for calculating the subnet we have to calculate this whole subnet box this is which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 total 9 bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we need another one it will be another block 2 5 6 so let's fill up this block 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 let's calculate 256 plus 64 is equal to 320 plus 32 equal 352 352 okay plus 8 360 plus 4 364 plus 1 will be 365 Okay, 256 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 365. Okay, okay right. Uh, so it is equal to 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. Okay, 365. This is your answer. So we subnet 365 number subnet. Now which host? Okay. Remember we cut paste this one from this host. Let's replace again this one. Okay. And for host, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need just 7 bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. From this, 64. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So 1, 1, 1. 0 and then 1 0 1 1 0 1 which is means 64 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 64 plus 16 70 74 76 77 77 number host so host 77 this is the answer now how many subnet possible it is 2 to the power subnet bit means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so it is answer 256 how many subnet possible oh sorry i think 2 it is 512 2 to the power 8 is equal to 256 2, 2 to the power 9 is equal to 512 so 512 subnet possible and how many host per subnet possible it is 2 to the power host bit means 7 minus 2 is equal to 128 minus 2 is equal to 126 126 subnet possible okay so you see from this structure we solved all our problems thank you